In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Galen Leather Everyday Notebook. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, it really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So this is the Everyday Notebook by Galen Leather. Galen Leather is a Turkish company that specializes in leather, but they also make a lot of stationary items and they partner with a, a company that makes a lot of wood items. Quality for the price you pay is really high with Galen Leather. I have a pen case from them that I, I really like as well as some washi tape dispensers that are, are really nice. Just very good quality for the price that, that you pay. And so this notebook here, and you can see they've been around since 2012. This is a B6 size everyday notebook. They also come in A5, and they come in different colors of this crazy horse leather, which is a Italian vegetable tan leather that has a lot of, like, wax finish to it that gives it this sort of vintagey look that's supposed to patina really nicely in time. You also get a leather blotter sheet and you get two guide sheets which are really nice. So you have a 10 millimeter rule and then a 7 millimeter rule. Pretty thick lines but you know it's a it's a guide sheet so you want to be able to see through it. 10 millimeter graph and a 5 millimeter graph. So I definitely like that you get all of that in the package. Now, looking at the notebook, just going into the, the specs of this, they're all blank as far as I know, so there's no printing that's done on the inside of these. They are hand-bound, and they have 400 pages of 52 GSM Tomoe River in white. I do not believe they do any in cream. Going to the, the back here, we have a gold foil stamped here. Which has Galen Leather, 400 pages here, and the size blank made in Turkey because they're a Turkish company, and this notebook uses Tomoe River 52 GSM white paper. That's kind of a lot on the back. I would prefer to have, I don't know, just had a Galen Leather logo. I don't need this other information, but it's nice. In terms of the binding, it's hand bound. I'm not 100% sure what that means specifically. But unlike other Tomoe River notebooks, or a lot of Japanese Tomoe River notebooks, this uses 32 page signatures, which is not my favorite. But you do get a good drape just because of the, the Tomoe River paper. It's just not quite as nice as I, I typically like to see. There are no features on the inside of the notebook. We have a black paste down and then you're right into the blank pages and that's mirrored on, on the back. Now, we'll quickly go through the, the writing sample here. The face is pretty much perfect. There's a little bit of bleeding on the 6mm Pilot Parallel, but otherwise, no real issues. Now, on the back, the fountain pens other than the Pilot 6mm Parallel all did really well. No bleeding that we see here. Of course, there's a lot of show through because this is a 52 GSM paper. It's super, super light. And that's just part of the deal with this paper. Now, the roller balls and gel pens, I would say, did pretty badly. They all actually bled through, even like the Secura Jelly Roll, the Uni Sino 0.5 millimeter bled through. The also the the fine liners, the Pentel Sign Pen, the two millimeter. That looks okay, but the Schneider Express and the Stabilo sensor bled through. And all of the troublemaker pens, the permanent markers, the oil drawing pen, and the Copic Sketch alcohol marker all bled through pretty badly. So, what would I say here? Pretty good for most fountain pens. I would recommend this paper for most fountain pens. It's actually pretty bad for other types of pens. I mean, unless you want to use like a, a ball point, like the big click here. Yeah, not, not great. I don't know which version of Tomoe River... They're using this maybe as the new Sans inversion, but for fountain pens, it, you know, performance is, is very good. I don't really have any complaints there. It's just for those other pens, pretty bad. Actually, and you know, when I look at this a bit closer, <laughs> we definitely do get bleeding on some of these, or feathering on like the high-tech point here, and maybe a bit on the Oto Fude ball. So 
yeah, kind of interesting performance. I think this must be the newest version because this did not perform as well with other types of pens as the previous to my river notebooks that I've reviewed. In using this notebook, I, I definitely like it. You know, this is more pages than I like in a notebook, but because it's Tomoe River, you do keep it to a pretty thin size, so I, I like that. The leather is pretty nice leather that I think will patina in time, and <laughs> with 400 pages, you're going to have time to have this patina. For $32, I think this is a, a really nice value considering you get just the nice packaging, you get the, the guide sheets, the leather blotter. Not a huge fan of the leather blotter, but it, it, it works. You know, it's not the, the cleanest looking binding, and that might be just the handmade nature of it or the fact that they're using leather to, to bind this with, but it's quite a nice notebook. So what are my pros and cons for the Galen Leather Everyday Notebook? Well, I think for $32, this is a absolute ton of notebook. It's a really good value like most of Galen Leather products. So you get 400 pages of 52 GSM white Tomoe River paper, and you get this really nice leather cover. You get a leather blotter sheet as well as guide sheets, and it comes in a nice box if you care about that kind of thing. Uh, slip case so you can store it in there, which is quite nice. Um, it has a nice drape because it is Tomoe River, uh, so it lays very flat. It has a, it's supposedly hand bound, um, it's stitched binding, and it's a very comfortable notebook to use. And it's quite, again, because it's Tomoe River, it's quite thin for 400 pages. So pretty nice specs all around, very fountain pen friendly, of course. Uh, so quite a, a good value. Now, in terms of cons, I don't like that we're seeing 32 page signatures. It's not really that big of a deal uh, with this Tomoe River just because it does drape so nicely. Um, but, you know, that is a cheaper way to kind of to do things. And most Tomoe River notebooks that I've reviewed on this channel do have this typical 16 page signature that I like to see. And it's just a little bit finer of a binding in my opinion. I also not a huge fan of all this gold uh, foil on the back here. There's just too much and it's a little bit big, but that's a pretty minor gripe. In terms of the fit and finish, I would say it's not quite as good as some of the Japanese notebooks that I've reviewed. Even if you look at the pictures of this on their website, the binding can kind of look a little bit I don't want to say messy, it's it's nice, but it's just not quite as crispy as some of the other Tomoe River notebooks that I've reviewed. And that might be down to this being more hand-bound. I'm not 100% sure, but just a small observation. Uh, other than that, I don't really have any other complaints. Do you guys have this notebook? Do you like this notebook? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen, paper, and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time.